All right, so we're, how dark is it? It's not dark. So we're on the high end here. This is a nice spaghetti squash there. Here is what I'm speaking in regards to the crossing. Very prevalent in color and shape. Those have a very high cross level of zucchini, of a pumpkin, somewhere in that realm. Now we had zucchini here. We had the spaghetti squash down there. That does not mean that this spaghetti squash crossed with that spaghetti squash, didn't cross with a zucchini, and that's why it happened this year. This was already in the seeds prior to planting. So keep that in mind that you can plant all these things in one bed. What you want to be aware of is the seed saving probability of the cross happening in future plantings. If you're just going to Grow them on this bed like this, harvest them, eat them, toss the seeds. You don't have it to worry about it at all, but you can see the very distinct color and pattern in this one, in this one, compared to a true spaghetti squash. Um, here's a fully ripe spaghetti squash that's got a very bright yellow color to it. So something to be aware of when you are growing spaghetti squash or other squashes of that manner, that you might have a cross. Still edible, you're just gonna have to treat it a little bit different. For more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.